Yeah, 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 yeah. Big Baby JTV, man. Let's start this off with a like. You know, road to 1,000 subs, 1K. We already a 104, man. I'm super thankful for everybody who's been showing love and support. I even have new haters. That means I'm doing really good. So to the new haters, I appreciate y'all. And y'all ain't gonna stop shit. Anyways, let's keep going. Tory Lanes, bro. Tory Lanes went platinum off of NFT. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look, I'm go. I'm gonna go ahead and go with my original thing that I always say: innocent until proven guilty. Right? Innocent until proven guilty. Does it look really, really crazy that this man might have potentially shot Megan the Stallion in the leg? Yes. It looks absolutely nuts. It looks absolutely insane. It looks like this nigga is guilty, right? But the real question here is, what did a court say? What did the investigation say, right? And the fact that this investigation has taken more than a year makes me think that homie might be innocent. Now, look, if he's guilty, he's guilty, bro. Take him to the jail, right? He needs to serve time for that. You don't shoot women in the leg. Actually, anybody in the leg, all right? That's for one. But it's funny how this man has been blackballed for a whole year and he just went platinum off the NFTs. Now, look, NFT stands for non fungible tokens. This is cryptocurrency. I don't know the intricacies of this, but apparently people bought his album for one dollar and a million of those people bought it. Right. That means that Tory Lane still has incredibly loyal fans. That means that Tory Lane is still making great music, at least music that people want to look for. Tory Lane's even blasted uh, Cassidy with an amazing, an amazing diss track. Like, it sounds crazy to me that the most entertaining beef in rap right now is between Cassidy and Tory Lanez <laughs> and the really most entertaining one is DJ Academics versus everybody but that's the most entertaining beef in hip-hop right now right so and I'm not talking about the Jacksonville beef that's 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 insane we ain't we ain't, we ain't talking about that young and ace and Fulio, no but Tory Lanez versus Cassidy bro it's a beautiful thing I like it and then I think personally right because of that beef it's helped him sell his albums and the nft sales of his album right now look tory lane's even gotten a little instagram back and forth with uh, meek mills right see uh i can't look at meek the same because homie is the the, the homie is too much twitter fingers right he's too much twitter fingers and unfortunately unfortunately right he sometimes meets meets his match what does that mean tory lanes is quick with the clapback game he's quick with the wet with the disrespect look people forget tory lanes is from toronto right brampton specifically right and people might say oh canada is soft toronto is soft. no 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 they get busy in T dot. <laughs> they get busy up there. You know what I'm saying? And I say that as somebody who's Canadian myself, right? So all I'm gonna say is this: I'm proud of Tory, right? This is what it looks like to get uncancelled, right? Cancel culture, right, is always gonna come for you. Cancel culture is always gonna find a reason to stop you but guess what how do you uncancel yourself you uncancel yourself by putting in the work you uncancel yourself by producing you uncancel yourself by making great music great art or whatever right i'm gonna give y'all a quick example remember a few years ago right kevin hart right he was supposed to host the oscars right and then, uh, quote unquote, cancel culture found a problematic tweet that he said if he had a gay son, he would beat his ass. Right now, look, if you're black, usually this is what, what happens. Now, look, can we have a conversation about homophobia in the black community? Absolutely. Right. But I'm just going to keep it a bean. I'll probably whoop my son's ass if I found out he was gay and then give him a hug after like, OK, let's get you a boyfriend. 
cars, no homo, right? So that's what it is. And because of that, they canceled his showing at the Oscar, his host gig, right? Then what happened after is that this man, Kevin Hart, kept on releasing specials, kept on releasing movies, and now homie is quote-unquote back, right if y'all seen his olympic coverage with snoop dogg it was absolutely hilarious he even had this joke with um with the homie from hotel ronda i always forget his name right so what it is right now is that you know you can uncancel yourself you can uncancel yourself by the work you can uncancel by yourself by putting in the time. And by the way, that was Don Cheeto. My bad, I forgot. You can uncancel yourself by being great. And that's what Tory Lanez is doing. And I want everybody who's part of the Cancel Culture Brigade. You can uncancel by yourself by being great and pandering. Well, not necessarily pandering, but working for your audience. Your core audience will still love you. They'll still rock with you through the ups and the downs. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below, bro. Big Baby JTV. We got to bring the positivity in these streets. And I'm out.